Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Fitness for Transformation. My name is Juan, and today I'll be guiding you through a 15 minute hit booty workout for beginners. This workout is composed of a warm up, a three round circuit training, and a cool down. If you have not stretched, take a look at the link in the description below for my latest full body stretch routine. Get that done and come back and join us for today's video. Let's take a look at some of the exercises that we're going to be performing today. Wall sits. Loop bridges, donkey kicks, and fire hydrants. Welcome back ladies and gentlemen. Let's go ahead and begin with round one of our warm up. First up we have jumping rope. We're going to put 30 seconds on the clock and we're going to go ahead and get started. We'll begin jumping in three, two, one. Here we go. Nice slight movement of our feet. We're getting our arms involved and we're breathing in through our nose and out through our mouth. Make sure you keep your head and your chest up. And take this at your own pace. This is just a warm up round. We have a couple of seconds left of this move, and we're moving forward to an alternating hip rotation next. Here we go. Arms come up in front of your chest, left leg comes up and out, and up and back in. Alternating legs, we focus on our breath, engaging our core, and focusing on our balance. Find the strength in your breath to get that leg up. Last couple of seconds here, and we're moving forward to good mornings next. Here we go. Arms come up behind your head. We're gonna go ahead and slide back at the knees, come into a forward fold, activating our hamstrings and our glutes before coming back up. Nice, strong core. Getting our core activated here. And we're getting our booties involved. Last couple of seconds of our good mornings. And we're finishing our warm up, up with a jogger place. Again, we're getting our arms involved. Our head and our chest is up. We're smiling and we're breathing. This is going to be a good workout. We have a couple of seconds left. And now we're going to pull it our warm up. Great job, guys. Go ahead and take a 30 second rest. We'll meet here for round one of our circuit training. directly above my knees, hands come out in front of your chest, head and chest remain up, and you breathe in through your nose and out through your mouth. Focus on keeping a nice clean form, and don't forget to breathe. We have a couple of seconds left of this move, but we're going to take it down to the ground for some glute bridges. Let's go ahead and walk our palms down, turn it onto your butts, knees are bent. Here we go. We're going to engage our glutes and raise them up, creating our glute bridge. We're going to exhale and come back down, inhale, lock them glutes up, and then come back down. We 
We have a couple of seconds left of this move. Let's go ahead and move forward to our donkey kicks. We're gonna go ahead and turn around onto our hands and knees. Joints are stacked. We're going to go ahead and raise our right leg up into our donkey kick and alternate to our left side, keeping a nice strong core in our neck and spine neutral. Engage your glute at the top and alternate legs. We're moving forward to fire hydrants. This time our right leg comes out to your side, hold for a second, and comes right back in. Alternate legs, be careful not to sway, back and forth, left and right, as you're alternating legs. Keep a nice strong core, and engage your glute at the top. Keep your neck and spine neutral, and don't forget to breathe. Great job, guys. That concludes round one. Let's go ahead and take a 30 second rest, and we'll meet here for round two of our circuit training. Great job. Welcome back ladies and gentlemen. Let's go ahead and begin with round two of our circuit training. Again, starting from the top with a wall sit or a squat option. Let's go ahead and begin. I'm gonna go ahead and take a nice deep seat against the wall. Knees are stacked directly above my ankles. Arms are in front of the chest. Breathe in through your nose, then out through your mouth. Keep your head and your chest up. your core active and make a nice muscle and mind connection with your legs as we're building muscle through this exercise. Let's go ahead and move forward to glute bridges next. Lie flat on your back, knees are bent, feet are flat on the ground. Engage your glutes, creating your glute bridge. Exhale to release. Inhale, come up, engage those glutes and come back down. We have a couple of seconds left of this move. And we're moving forward to our donkey kicks, turning it around onto our hands and knees, stacking our joints. We raise our right foot, keeping our knee bent, engaging our core and our glute at the top. We return and alternate legs. Exhale to bring your leg up. And inhale on the return. your neck and spine neutral. Last couple of seconds. Let's go ahead and move forward to fire hydrants. Right leg comes out to your side and back in. Alternate to your left side. Inhale as that leg comes up. Exhale as it comes back down. Keep your body from swaying left and right. Keep your core engaged. Last couple of seconds here. Great job, guys. That concludes round two. Go ahead and take another 30 second rest and we'll meet here for our final round. core is engaged, our knees are stacked, and our arms are in front of our chest. 
Breathe in through your nose, and out through your mouth. This is the final round, you got this. Keep your head and your chest up. A couple of seconds left here, and we're taking it down to the ground for glute bridges next. Let's go ahead and take it down to the ground. Lying flat on our backs, knees are bent, feet are flat on the ground. Activate your glutes, come up to your bridge, and release. Inhale up, exhale down. Engage your glutes at the top, and then release. Nice strong core. Last couple of seconds here. We're turning it around onto our hands and knees for our donkey kicks. Right foot comes up, knee remains bent, foot remains flat, and we engage our glute at the top. Alternating sides, we exhale, we get our leg up. Inhale as it comes down. Keep your neck and spine neutral. And keep your joints stacked. Here we go, moving forward to fire hydrants next. Our right leg comes out to its side and then back to center. Alternating to your left side next. Focus on exhaling as you bring that leg up to your fire hydrant. Engage your glute and then release. Engage your glute at the top. Great job, guys. That concludes round three. You did it. Let's go ahead and get ready to take another 30 second rest and we'll move forward to our cool down. Great job. forward fold as we lean to our left side. Focus on breathing in through your nose and out through your mouth to bring that heart rate down. And bring those hands towards your left foot, coming into a deeper hamstring stretch on your left side. Last couple of seconds here, and we're gonna rainbow up over to our right. Rainbow yourself back up, arms come out to your sides, and we lean right. Halfway forward fold here. Breathe in through your nose and out through your mouth. And bring those hands to your foot. Fold deeper into that hamstring stretch. Last couple of seconds, and we're moving forward to a quad stretch next. Rainbowing back up, we find our balance to bring our left leg up into a quad stretch. For this exercise, pressing your hips forward and standing up straight will help with the quad and hip stretch here. Find your balance, engage your core, breathe in through your nose and out through your mouth, and press your hips forward. If you lose your balance, that's okay, gently return to this position. Go ahead and alternate to your right side. Keep your head and your chest up. Press your hips forward. And don't forget to breathe. Moving on to hip rotations next. This one's familiar. Hips feel nice and warm now. Let's give them a good stretch. We're getting that leg up and out. 
then alternating legs. This should feel a lot more flexible than when we did this in our warm up, as our hip is nice and warm now. Moving forward to downward dog, meet me at the top of the mat. We're gonna come into a forward fold, walk our hands down, and enter a forward downward dog. Step your feet in and out. Alternate or send both heels down to the ground for a deeper downward dog. Go ahead and come up to a high plank. Bring your right leg up into a runner's lunge and sit into that lunge. Again, the right foot is just on the outside of my right hand. And I'm sitting in and out of this runner's lunge. Last couple of seconds, and we're alternating legs. Send that leg back. Go ahead and step your left foot forward into that runner's lunge and sit in and out of that lunge, getting our hips a nice stretch here. Helping us maintain flexibility after a nice workout. Last couple of seconds here. Go ahead and release your left leg back and lie flat onto your back, bringing your knees to your chest, keeping your shoulder blades and your shoulders on the ground. Bring those knees up, press them in towards your chest, feel that hip stretch. Breathe in through your nose and out through your mouth. Go ahead and release. Sit up, and we're going into a butterfly stretch. Nice stretch here for our inner thigh, our adductor muscles here. Keep your head and your chest up. Great job, ladies and gentlemen. That concludes today's warm up. Cool down the whole shebang. Great job. You did fantastic. I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you learned something new, make sure you give this a thumbs up. If you're new to the channel, make sure you hit subscribe. I post instructional fitness routines every Monday, Wednesdays, and Thursdays. And I look forward to seeing you next week. Thank you so much for watching.